if you if you make a kid draw a, a painting uh, you know of, of Prabhu Shri Ram the kid will draw it with you know crayons or with sketch pens or with, with maybe a pencil it may not look the best correct but at the same time I can definitely tell you the, the, the spirituality that the kid has that is something that I will appreciate yes mr. Roth but that kid is not given 600 crores to make that painting but you were you are working in Bollywood with the top stars of our country and you are making a film with a budget of 600 to 700 crores you cannot give this analogy you are living the dream of millions of people like myself have of making a film one day making a mainstream Bollywood film one day so this this excuse that you know your intention your heart was at the right place but you didn't have the resources or you didn't have the vision or whatever it may be it's not valid at this point so recently I watched the Om Roth and Manoj Muntashi interview with Arnab Goswami and the amount of hot shit that came out of that interview is just mind boggling. The interview is a masterclass in gaslighting. Without wasting any more of your time, let's dive into the interview and break it down one excuse at a time. Om Roth says that he watched Ramadan Sagar's Ramayan and that inspired him a lot. But if you have ever even seen a local Ram Leela, you would have had a better vision for this film don't disrespect Ramanan Sagar's Ramayan with this because if you had done nothing you you could have just copied it scene by scene and applied your better technology and 600 crore budget to that it would have still been a decent film but you could not even do that so this just proves either you as a director had a god awful vision for this film or you intentionally ruined this film which one is it before a film is made, there is a pitch meeting in which writers, producers, directors meet and they discuss what the vision they have for this film because a film is a group project and everyone has to see the same vision in order for a film to come to life. So when the producers must have heard what Om Roth's visions was or read the dialogues written by Manoj Muntashir, they should have understood that these are not the right people for this film. So it's not just the fault of the writers and the directors or the VFX artists, it's also the fault of the producers. In fact, I don't even blame the VFX artists or the actors or the or all the people who are on set because it's the director's responsibility to manage them, to bring the best out of them and Om Roth could not do that. Om Roth says that Ramanan Sagar's Ramayan had a huge impact on him and he's trying to have the same impact on the younger generation. What are we doing today, sir? Hmm. That Ramayan made an impact on me as a child. Today we are making Adi Purush to make an impact on the future, the youth of this country. Now that's a noble cause, but what I see from your latest interviews is a lack of accountability that you have. Instead of actually studying what the audience is saying about your picture, you have a stance that you have made the best possible product and people mi are misunderstanding it, hating it because they are paid to do so or they are liberals and what not. If you see this and Ramayana study and you study Ramayana too, without any doubt, it's been a long time for three days. I'm quoting. When you sit in the water, you sit in the water for three days and say, okay, it's okay. It's not okay, it's okay, but it's okay. You sit for three days and you sit in the water for three days. You write Tulsi Das there, Baba Tulsi Das, the great Tulsi Das. We keep them in the category of the Bhagavan. Without any doubt, it's been a long time for three days. Say Ram Sakop. Quote unquote, Sakop. Then, it's not a bad thing. Sakop means what? With anger, assertive, aggressive, in anger, in crowd. Tulsi Das wrote that Ram was in crowd. I really like that he brought this up. Yes, Lord Ram did get angry. But what's missing in your film is the context. Your film shows that Lord Ram asked the ocean god once, ocean god denied and he brought out the Brahmastra. Hmm. This little detail added a lot of depth to the character of Lord Ram which was missing in your film. That's the problem. The, the understanding of the minute details of the source material that you do not have. The late Irfan, who had a, a depiction of Ravan in Rohit Shetty's comedy called Sunday. Sunday, yes. Yes, you yes, remember yes. that? And there was Akshay Kumar also in, in Tarshan. Ravan appears. There is, no, there is no accuracy there. There is absolutely no problem. There are Netflix series in which Hanuman is mockingly interchanged with Monkey. Yeah. Right? Yeah. People don't have a problem with that. But with this film, they've gone with a, with, with a, with a so, microscope. I haven't personally seen the films that Arnab Goswami just mentioned but it's a valid point that does happen in movies but what doesn't happen is the people who make fun of religious texts in their movies don't come out and say that oh I am a very religious person I have made this film with a lot of devotion and I want to dedicate this film to Lord Ram they don't do that but when Om Roth comes on stage and cries about making Ramayan and talks about how dedicated and devoted he is to this film and when the dedication is not seen on the screen, people do question it. 
मुझे कोई खड़ा होकर बोल दे इस एक करोड़ के देश में कि हमने भगवान श्री राम की जो कहानी है उसको बिगाड़ दिया जो कथा हमने पढ़ी है सुनी है वो हमने नहीं सुनाई हमने हनुमान जी को कुछ और दिखा दिया हमने श्री राम को कुछ और दिखा दिया कथा तो वही है जो हम शुरू सुनते आ रहे हैं उसकी मूल भावना के साथ द बेसिक फीलिंग ऑफ द स्टोरी रिमेन्स एक्जैक्टली एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट द सेम नथिंग बीन ऑल्टर्ड मनोज भाई यू कैन टेल द सेम एग्जैक्ट स्टोरी इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट वेज बाई एडिंग और सब्ट्रैक्टिंग डिटेल्स विच यू डिड वेरी वेल इन योर फिल्म यू डिड नॉट शो जटायूज लास्ट मोमेंट्स विद लॉर्ड राम यू डिड नॉट शो हु ट्रूली अंगद वॉज यू डिड नॉट शो विभीषण टेलिंग लॉर्ड राम अबाउट रावण अमृत वाई वर दीज डिटेल्स मिसिंग लिटिल डिटेल्स आर वॉट एन रिच a story and a film and give the viewer a rewarding experience and those very details were altered and straight up missing from your film it's ironic how you make a film about maryada purushottam ram depict the biggest battle of his life yet you come into every interview with a victim mindset that the sole reason your film is being hated is because your religion is hated by the way one thing i'll add it's not a plug but everything in the film all the graphics let's put it on the big screen let's put it full frame everything is 100% swadeshi 100% right? the graphics 100%. every presentation special effects this is not hollywood no nah, man it doesn't even look like hollywood don't even go there and let me ask you a question as an audience tell me what's better for you to have a bad cgi job done in your own country or have a billion dollar company like t series hire the best vfx artist possible from all over the world to bring out the best film possible what's better so we need more films like yes, this yeah, we, do. we need more films sir we I, need more films of our hindu or indian culture our our civilization our great indian history yes we definitely need more films about our culture and our history but they need to be made by better directors who have a better vision and written by better writers not people like you this 20 minute interview was pretty hard to sit through because the, the amount of gaslighting and deviating the audience from the main issue that was going on in this interview was pretty hard to watch After watching Adi Purush I honestly thought that Omrao himself would come forward and say that I am sorry I made a bad film please forgive me and had he done that I would have definitely respected him but seeing how the writer and director of the film are not only defending their film but telling you that you are a bad person that you are a hindu hater that you hate sanatan dharm if you don't like my film now that's pretty messed up they're just trying to religion bait the audience into watching their shitty film which makes me wonder if they are delusional or they think the audience is many people have already dismantled manoj muntashir in their respective videos and i would not do that all over again however i would like to address some of his claims even though they have changed the dialogues but manoj muntashir said that he's trying to insult ravan so people who are not liking hanuman ji's dialogues are being very sympathetic towards ravan i don't know if manoj muntashir is an actual dumb fuck or way up his own ass right now to make such a claim because if that's the logic you're going to give it means in future it gives me the liberty to make hanuman ji use even cuss words about mothers and sisters because you know he's saying that to ravan he's not saying that to me he's not you know no one is saying that to hanuman ji hanuman ji is saying mother sister stuff to ravan that should be okay because you know i'm trying to insult ravan right secondly manoj ji said khilji is the face of evil in this generation so if ravan looks a little bit like khilji it shouldn't be a problem how can you drag someone like ravan down to khilji's level in what world do you think it's justified again is he a dumb fuck or is he way up his own ass i don't know omrod said that ramadan sagar had a long format to show his story so he could show many things in the film and it makes me wonder how a japanese film was able to show the entire ramayana and even an indian film the 2005 hanuman film which was animated the first 30 minutes of which were the childhood story of lord hanuman was able to show ramayana in its essence how were those films able to do that and your 3 hour slog fest could not omrod it's time it's time you stop blaming the universe for the failure of your film and just admit that you have made a terrible film that you had a terrible vision for this project in conclusion of this video i'd like to quote a dialogue from adi purush omrod's magnum opus and please don't take it as a death threat i'm i don't give death threats to people i'm just quoting it because it's a beautiful dialogue and it suits the situation very well raghupati raghav raja ram bol aur shama mangle वरना आज खड़ा है कल लेटा मिलेगा